Capital budgeting is a crucial aspect of financial management for businesses and organizations of all sizes. It involves the process of planning and evaluating long-term investment projects to determine whether they are financially viable and can generate a positive return on investment. In simpler terms, capital budgeting helps companies decide where to allocate their funds for projects that will benefit them in the long run. In this video, we will explore the fundamental concepts of capital budgeting and why it is so important for the financial health of a company. What is capital budgeting? Capital budgeting, also known as investment appraisal, is the process of allocating funds to various projects or investments that have the potential to generate profits over an extended period, typically more than one year. These projects can include buying new equipment, expanding operations, developing new products, or even acquiring other businesses. The main goal of capital budgeting is to determine which projects are worth pursuing and which should be rejected. Businesses have limited financial resources, and they need to make informed decisions about where to invest their money to maximize their long-term profitability. Why is capital budgeting important? Efficient resource allocation. Capital budgeting helps businesses allocate their limited financial resources efficiently. By carefully evaluating investment opportunities, a company can avoid wasting money on projects that may not yield a substantial return. This ensures that resources are directed towards projects with the highest potential for success. Long-term planning. Many investment projects have a long-term impact on a company's financial performance. Capital budgeting allows businesses to plan for the future and make strategic decisions that will benefit them in the long run. It helps them stay competitive in their industry and adapt to changing market conditions. Risk management. Every investment carries some level of risk. Capital budgeting involves a thorough analysis of the risks associated with each project. By identifying and assessing these risks, businesses can make informed decisions and implement risk mitigation strategies reducing the chances of financial losses. Maximizing shareholder value. Shareholders invest in a company with the expectation of earning a return on their investment. Capital budgeting helps businesses make decisions that maximize shareholder value by choosing projects that generate higher returns and enhance the company's overall financial position. If you find the video helpful, please give it a like, that will be helpful for this channel. Let's discuss methods of capital budgeting. Although there are a number of capital budgeting methods, three of the most common ones are discounted cash flow, payback analysis, and throughput analysis. Let's discuss them separately. 1. Discounted cash flow. Discounted cash flow or DCF analysis is a financial valuation method used to estimate the value of an investment or business based on the present value of its expected future cash flows. This typically involves estimating cash flows for a certain number of years into the future. Cash flows may include revenue, operating expenses, taxes, and capital expenditures. The discount rate, often called the required rate of return, represents the rate of return investors expect to earn on their investments. It is used to discount future cash flows back to their present value. Once you have forecasted the future cash flows and determined the discount rate, you can calculate the present value of each cash flow. This involves dividing each future cash flow by 1 plus discount rate to the power of the number of years into the future the cash flow is expected. Sum up all the present values of the cash flows to find the net present value of the investment. Project managers can use the DCF model to decide which of several competing projects is likely to be more profitable and worth pursuing. Projects with the highest net present value should generally rank over others. 2. Payback analysis. Payback analysis is the simplest form of capital budgeting analysis, but it's also the least accurate. Payback analysis calculates how long it will take to regain the costs of an investment. The payback period is identified by dividing the initial investment in the project by the average yearly cash inflow that the project will generate. For example, if it costs $4 million for the initial cash outlay, and the project generates $1 million per year in revenue, it will take four years to recoup the investment. 
Payback analysis is usually used when companies have only a limited amount of funds to invest in a project and therefore need to know how quickly they can get back their investment. 3. Throughput analysis. Throughput refers to the rate at which an investment generates returns or cash flows over its useful life. It helps assess the efficiency and profitability of capital expenditures. This method focuses on assessing how efficiently an investment can convert invested capital into profitable returns. Here's a simplified process for conducting throughput analysis in capital budgeting. Determine the initial capital outlay required for each project. This includes costs such as equipment, construction, installation, and any other relevant expenses. Estimate the expected cash flows that each project will generate over its useful life. This should include projections of revenues, operating expenses, and any incremental cash flows specific to the project. Calculate the throughput for each investment by dividing the expected annual net cash flows, which are cash flows after operating expenses and taxes, by the initial investment cost. Rank the projects based on their calculated throughputs. Projects with higher throughputs are generally prioritized because they are expected to generate returns more efficiently. Let's move on to the limitations of capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is a crucial financial process for evaluating long-term investment opportunities, but it comes with several limitations. 1. Uncertain future. Capital budgeting relies on future cash flow predictions. The accuracy of these forecasts is inherently uncertain, making it challenging to make precise investment decisions. 2. Time-consuming. The process of evaluating potential projects is time-consuming and can delay decision-making, which might not be suitable for rapidly changing markets. 3. Ignoring external factors. It often ignores external factors like changes in economic conditions, regulatory changes, and market dynamics, which can significantly impact the success of an investment. 4. Inflexibility. Once an investment is made, it's often challenging to reverse, even if circumstances change. This can lead to sunk costs and inefficiencies. 5. Ignores non-monetary benefits. Capital budgeting tends to focus primarily on financial metrics, ignoring non-monetary benefits like brand value or employee satisfaction, which can be essential for a business's long-term success. 6. Ignores risk tolerance. It may not adequately account for a company's risk tolerance and can lead to investments that are overly conservative or too risky. 7. Doesn't consider strategic goals. It may not align with a company's strategic goals, as it often focuses on short-term profitability rather than long-term strategic objectives. Conclusion Capital budgeting is a fundamental process that allows businesses to make informed decisions about allocating their financial resources to long-term investment projects. By carefully evaluating the potential risks and returns of each project, companies can maximize their profitability, plan for the future, and create value for their shareholders. In simple terms, capital budgeting helps businesses answer the crucial question, is this investment worth it? By using different techniques companies can navigate the complex world of investment decisions and make choices that will benefit them in the long run. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.